A couple of new games were recently announced by Nintendo, and if you're not already excited, you will be. You will be. Lost Sphere looks like one of those basic RPGs from Square, but hopefully they can make this into something special. It just came out yesterday, so I haven't gotten a chance to dive into it, but it looks like it'll be a lengthy one. I may try to review this, so here's hoping that it's not too long. Celeste makes me want to die. Everything about this game screams Super Meat Boy, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. Don't let that cute-ass art style fool you. This one's going to be hard as nails. From what I've seen of it, they're already throwing new ideas out there in regards to platforming. Can't wait to play this. God dang, man. In the longest five minutes, it looks like you were some badass, maxed out character in an RPG, but the final boss, you just dropped the ball and forgot everything. So you gotta try to relearn everything within a long five minute boss fight. I don't think the game will actually be five minutes, but I'm hyped for the music alone. Listen to this shit! Faye looks like Ori in the Blind Forest in a 3D space, which, okay, I'm buying it already. Don't know how much gameplay depth they'll have here, but it looks like one of those games you'll be able to turn off your brain and just experience. Sort of like the new Star Wars movie. This god dang game is so weird, it's so cool, it's pretty dang creepy actually. I've played a little bit of this a few years back, but to play it now on the go would be perfect. It went through a lot of changes over the years, but I'm sure these guys will bring it together into a great game. Alright, time for the heavy hitters. Kirby coming for blood with how good it looks. Maybe I'll be able to convince my girlfriend to cooperate with me, but probably not. Yoshi building on those gameplay mechanics from Woolly World. Can I wait for this one? Give it to me now. This is a triumph for video game. The level design alone is mwah, mwah, can't get enough of that shit. To not have this on your Switch is a travesty. Like pineapples on pizza, man. We got Dark Souls coming out here like. I've sunk hundreds of hours into this game, but I'll still buy it again because I'm a huge fanboy who has no self-control. If you're not excited yet, well, I really don't know what'll make you excited. Except maybe Bayonetta 1, 2, and 3 coming to the Switch. Holy hell, I'm dying over here for more information. This game series is non-stop action from the beginning to the end. You think you beat it? Uh-oh, that wasn't even my final form. I'm so hyped to play 1 and 2 on the go, and when 3 comes out, you'll never see me again. So many cool games coming out in the months to come. So hyped.